<laughs> Earth, fire, wind, water, heart. Go planet! By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! I'm Andy, Game Master Crafter here. I crafting the things you love to craft. Well, today we have a pretty fun build for you. I have got uh, some miniatures here. These guys are all made out of plastic grocery bags huh, that I've melted down. We've got an earth elemental, we've got a fire elemental, we've got an air elemental, and we have a water elemental. Um, and one of these is actually going to be given away at a future giveaway. And we have a giveaway today too, but, for future giveaway, one of these guys will be given away. So, I'm gonna teach you today how to make them. Um, now really, what you need for this build is you're gonna need plastic grocery bags from the grocery store, right? And something to melt them with. For instance, this guy I used a candle. For this guy, I used a heat gun, okay? So um, you can use a heat gun, you can use a blow dryer. Um, heat gun's a little bit better just because it's hotter, but it doesn't blow so much that you can still melt things down. So I'm gonna show you uh, how I did that. Um, of course, using a heat gun or a candle, either way is going to be hot. Watch out for your fingers on this one. You kids, you need to make sure you get your parents around for this stuff, all right? Um, uh, or at least have their permission. They, if you have permission to burn down the house, that's perfectly fine. But, yeah, we're going to build one of these and I'll show you how to do it, all right? So first you need Grocery bag, plastic grocery bag. Um, thick, thin, it depends on what you're wanting to build. Um, with this guy, I used the flimsiest little thin ones I could find, right? Um, for this guy, I used the thickest, sturdiest ones I could find. For this one, I used a really thick, sturdy plastic bag because I wanted to be able to make flames out of it, right? But, you start out with your plastic bag. So you start out by melting it, right? Now you do that with a a, um, a candle or a heat gun, right? Um, this could be a little loud, so I don't know if it'll be in the if we're here in the video. But uh, let me show you how we kind of do this whole thing. I'm gonna start out by just melting it and forming the plastic shape. So first, you want to form the plastic shape with whatever it is you're melting it with, uh, and then you go from there. Sounds like a dying cat or goose, or a cat goose. Watch out for your fingers, it can get really hot. Now when it gets really melted and hot, it'll get hot on your hands, so watch out for that. Now to make this kind of go quicker, one thing you can do is you can twist the bag. But I, thinking ahead, already twisted a bag. <laughs> Excellent. So. When you're heating up the twisted bag, make sure to keep the twist uh, uh, taut. Otherwise, it will, while it heats up, it will unwind itself. Can be fun to have another person. I'd use my elbow. Take it and kind of press it in as it's still hot. It'll help you a little bit. Switch sides up. If you give it a little twist while you're doing it, you can kind of get more, more than one side of the unit itself. and the hotter you get it, the more texture will be added to it. So like for instance, I've got a pretty good, good start on a good roll there, right? Boy, it's already starting to look like, if I painted that, it would look like wind. Hmm, interesting, huh? All right, well let's see here. I'm gonna get this a little tighter and melt it down a little bit here. One minute, and actually, you can do it if you don't have two hands, is you can kind of go like this. That'll give it kind of at least its main, main hold. And since I'm gonna be spiraling it, spiraling it around to make this guy anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and not worry about that. That's gonna help me. All right, we got a good start to a good shape right here. So the harder you get it, the more texture it will add. You can see spots where it's melted. It has actually added a lot more texture. Um, and that's okay, that's actually perfect for us. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start winding it even more. 
We're gonna get a good wind on it. We're gonna get it good and hot. And we're gonna make ourselves the beginnings of our tornado here. And this would work for a, you know, miniature like this. This would work for a diorama for a train. Say you wanna have a, a, a train station where it's been hit by a tornado, right? You can make that look really cool. Um, we can make a big one of these, right? All right, so you got that nice and wound up. Let's get it melted. Do watch out as it will get 400 to 500 degrees. Now you'll see it's already starting to take shape. I give it a little extra heat just to hold it, just to give it a good grip and hold. Sometimes you can squeeze it a little bit to kind of make it stick to itself. Um, and then you're, you're, you got a good, a good section here. Now this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. So now it's time to start forming the actual body of the air elemental, the tornado here, right? So we're gonna take this and give it a good twist. Now, another thing that can be really helpful here is hot glue. Having a hot glue gun to this really makes it a lot easier. You don't have to melt plastic. Uh, you can use a candle and, and melt the plastic itself and then kind of press in on it, but it's a little hot. Um, hot glue is really a handy thing to have right here. Might have some, I don't know, we'll find out. All right. So by getting it hot, I'm making the plastic more malleable. Then by letting it cool down, the plastic sets in its rigid shape that it's now in, um, allowing us to, to do what we want to do. So we've got this guy right here, and as I let him cool, it'll stay. If I, if I held this right here, when I let go, it would stay just like that after it gets cold. You know, so it'd take a minute for that. But if it unwraps a little bit, that's okay. Got that. Now I'm gonna finish on this guy. I'm gonna actually make this one another wrap because it's gonna need another, another twist to go around the tornado, especially near the top. So excuse me while I do this one. Now in here, I didn't press down on this out here because I think that makes a cool swirl to kind of add to our, our, little, um, our little air elemental there. That's gonna be a good swirl for it. That's really nice right there, okay. So we've got this, we've got that. Time to put it together. Let's see here, how is this one gonna go on? Stick that together somehow, and I need to cut the top off of that. That'll be good, that'll be good. All right, let me see. So I got my hot glue gun now. Thanks to Game Master Crafter Mike here. Um, actually, that's okay. I don't need to do that part yet. Now, you want to try to leave your, uh, your hot glue gun always sitting up, not laying down on its side. Um, otherwise, the hot glue can melt into the rest of the components. Really mess up your hot glue gun. I know, because I've messed up some. Sorry, Mom. Anyway, um, so yeah, so we got this here. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna connect this around and make the top bigger. It's gonna go all the way up. And we're also gonna need a base. For the base, I'm just gonna use an old piece of plastic and I'm gonna cut it out to shape. So uh, might as well do that really quick. In the last video, the unboxing, we unboxed some, some blind boxes of, of figures, one of which will be given away today. But I'm gonna use this plastic. So I have scissors. And I'm just gonna cut out a shape. I'll go like this, because the bases don't always have to be round. That's a good shape. That'll work. Okie dokie. Got that. Uh, so, so uh, you know, yeah. Scissors. My grocery bag. I've got the heat gun. You can use a candle too. And a piece of plastic for the base. All right. So, I've got this. This part I'm going to want to glue on. Let's see if that's had enough time to heat up. Yeah, actually I will attach that bottom now that I'm here. Just don't want that to come apart on me. All right, there's that bottom of that one piece attached. And now I'm gonna attach this part way up. 
Now, if you can see a little bit of hot glue, that's okay, because you're gonna paint it when you're done. So you're gonna take your next piece and you're gonna wind it along with the wind. Along with the wind wind. Not against it. Because you want it to look like all the air is going in the same direction. And again, I left that piece out on there. I didn't press it in because I wanted it to look like a cool piece of air kind of flowing around there. Okay. Alrighty. So we're gonna take this. And I'm actually gonna pull this out a little bit. I'll make sense in the end. Oh, I forgot to attach the bottom. Sorry. Boop, 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 boop. Attach that bottom piece on there. Ah, hot glue. The crafter's best friend and worst enemy. Ooh. <laughs> no best friend, I'm just joking. Mm. Okay. Again, we're going to paint over all that, so that's really not a big deal. Actually, and I'm gonna leave that a little loose. Actually, that's gonna look even cooler, a little looser. And it'll be okay on its side for just a second. Catch it up at the top here. Yeah. Now, it'll look kind of funny. It'll look kind of um, off. That's okay, I'll show you what I'm gonna do here in a moment. Also, with all these stringy stuff, that's another thing that the heat gun will take care of in quick, short order, is all the stringy stuff. You can hit it with the heat gun, and it'll just stick to whatever it's sticking to. Or nearby. <laughs> okay, got that, got that. Now I still have some play here because I attached it to itself. Mm, I think right there looks about good. So I'm gonna cut off this top. Whee! We'll use that there in just a minute though. You wanna make sure the top is kind of splayed out a little bit so it looks like the top of a, a tornado type of thing. And then you want to glue in, kind of cement in your spot. There we go. Let's see. Another piece from over there. Sorry about that. I need that other piece that I flung away. Thank you. Good sir. Game Master Game Master Crafter Mike over here on our on our camera. Help me out. Alright. Hot glue has got a chance to hold for the most part. We'll hold it there for another moment. Wonderful. And waiting is the best part of this. It, it, waiting is the best part of anything that you have to do. Standing in line, best part of Disneyland. See? See, parents, you don't even have to take your kids to Disneyland. You can just go stand in a line somewhere and they will be just as happy. Tell them it's Disneyland, they'll be even happier. <laughs> don't do that. All right, excellent. Okay, got some good definition on the top. I'm gonna turn him down at the bottom here. And I want him to stand that. So I'm gonna bring out this guy. Now the one thing you do have to watch out for is the heat gun will take apart any holds and bonds you've made with the hot glue. So just be aware of that. Not a big deal, just be aware of it. All right, and that's looking like it's coming together pretty darn good. I like that. A little bit bigger in the bottom than it is on the top, but we have some extra bits, and that's what that's perfect for. Usually I'll just kind of go and find that top piece and I'll wrap it around. Give it an extra, extra big tornado top. So I'll do that extra piece is gonna be useful. That in there. Let's see, I'm gonna reconnect him in here. Make sure he's nice and solid. Excellent. We've got a pretty good viable little piece going on here. Now, the base. The base. You need to have more than just this, right? And in fact, that may be a little big, but we want it to look more than that. So what we're gonna do, so we're actually gonna take the hot glue gun here. 
I'm going to make fluffy clouds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to put down a piece of hot glue like that. Okay, make sure it's nice and bulging. I'm going to take it, I'm going to turn it upside down. It's going to allow it to kind of settle in that way. Now, not so long that it falls. Just eat, and not so long that it strings out and you get a big goo thing and make it look like a slime monster, which is a great way to make a slime monster, which is another thing I built this week. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> one cloud. We'll do a couple clouds just for the purposes of instruction. Boop. Stringy cloud. That'll be taken care of in short order with that heat gun. Excellent. And then just add a third little cloud layer in here. Now you want to do the clouds separately from each other or else you'll just get one big cloud, like one big lob of cloud. And you don't want a glob of cloud. You want fluffy clouds. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right. We got that going on there. And here we have a pretty viable little tornado here. Oh, that looks nice. Kind of stretch it out right there a little bit. Look at that. Wow, with a little paint, that's gonna look really good. Here I want this a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna hit that with the heat gun here. And actually, no, no, that actually looks good. No, I like that. Once it's painted, it'll look even better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna attach it onto the base here. And we're going to get it to make sure it stands up straight first. Then we're going to attach it on the base, and we'll have a pretty good little guy there. Yeah. All right. Make sure this is good and oops, finished with the heat. Really, it can be nice to have a candle at these times. That way you're not having to use a heat gun to be able to kind of get in between these little spots and stuff. This is sealed here on the top. It may not so much sealed as just in place. If you need to put a couple more pieces of glue, like for right here, you can kind of see it open right there. That you can kind of fix with a little hot glue. In fact, you can fix it with a whole lot of glue and, and actually glue that side over. Or you can melt it, you know. Um, really, I'm just going to connect it. Finger two. There we go. Excellent. And now we're going to glue it to its base. Now I didn't finish the base here. Right? I didn't finish it all up. Finish it later. But uh, just for the sake of the video, let's see here. Right here. This is going to be connected, but I don't want it that long. Cut this off. Right there. I like a little twist though. Alright, put a little glue down in between our clouds. So you're gonna probably just do a whole circle of clouds. Then you'd end up taking it and you'd end up putting it on there. There we go. And you can even use the glue that you glue it onto to form another cloud if you want. Um, I did with my other one. Um, but you know, for the sake of time right now, you know, this will work. Ah, uh, waiting the most fun time, the best part of the game. All right, it's getting on there. And with your hot glue too, you can put in a little bit of, of texture on the hot glue, especially if you let the hot glue cool down a little bit, and then you can kind of go over with the tip of the hot glue, especially if you have one that has a metal tip. You can kind of texturize it just a little bit. Ah, oh, these little free tendrils. Actually, I should leave those on there so that I can show you at the end how I fix it. Get on there. Ha ha ha. Excellent. Yeah. So you could take this and you could finish putting little blobs around. 
Um, you could make it a whole big thing. Um, with my other one, I went, I put all the little blobs around uh, and made it. And then I actually took, so I, there's, a, there's a Beholder miniature um, that has these eye stalks with a bunch of things shooting out of them. Well, I took one, because I have a lot of Beholders, I, I took one of those pieces and I cut off this little, little lightning bolt and stuck it on here. I'm not gonna have one for this one, but that's okay. It doesn't need it. Okie dokie. Minus the paint. Doesn't look like a lot. I've got a pretty good viable miniature. Minus the paint. Now, what you're gonna wanna do at this point is you're gonna wanna take this and you are going to want to paint it um, using either just a black paint or what I like to do, I like to seal it with a Mod Podge black combo. So I take Mod Podge, uh, matte, regular Mod Podge, that makes it with black acrylic paint, and then I paint over it. Uh, it makes things, um, it's a good sealer, it's a good holder, makes things nice and, and hard, and makes it um, so that, I mean, if, if you drop it, there won't be any dent or anything in it. You'd be able to throw this across, I could throw this across the room. Well, this might not survive, but the rest of it would, trust me. I mean, I could really like, throw it. Oh look, it's, just, it's perfectly fine, like it was before I did this. Oh, there it is again, perfectly fine because it's a plastic bag that I melted. Yeah, awesome, right? <laughs> Excellent. You got somebody like to flip the table all the time? No, no, they can. No, they can't. That's not allowed. All right, so this is Gloss Mod Podge. Uh, I like the matte, preferably, but that's okay. This is gotten at the dollar store, right? Super cheap, barely an inconvenience. Let me take some black craft paint. Now, craft paint, you wanna use craft paint, not miniature paint, because miniature paint's so expensive. The difference is, is with black craft paint, the pigment that is in it is very large, so it will cover over small details of very fine like faces and things like that. For this, we're not so worried about that. So um, every project I do, I seal with this. Um, I take black craft paint, black craft paint, a little bit of Mod Podge, and make a sealer. Um, it, 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 before I paint any of my created terrain and stuff like that, I use this stuff. Black magic, ooh, we make it woo, fun. Black magic Mod Podge. All right, let's see here. Here's my wet palette here, why not? We're gonna take it and we're just gonna glob it on. I like to use the color in the Mod Podge because it gives it just a little bit of color for you to be able to color on. In this case, I just don't want the red showing through with it. So I'm gonna do it like this. All right, we'll get back to it as I, as I, as I finish this up. I'm gonna finish this now, right now, I gotta focus. All right, pretty good, pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna have to let that dry, and uh, I'll have to go clean off my hands. Uh, we'll come back to that. See right here, I don't know about that. I'll use the hot glue gun and fix that while I'm gone too. How's that? Excellent. Getting little spots in there. This is just gonna give you a start on the, uh, on the, painted, the painting part and a little bit of durability. Excellent. Now from here, you can take it and you can just start painting it. It's, it's good, perfectly great to paint. Um, to save myself a step though, I'm gonna use some gray primer. Um, now I could have just primed it instead of doing this, but I really like the durability that the Mod Podge gives. Um, so I, I got that. So uh, I'm gonna spray with some primer. Spray primer in a well ven ventilated area. Do it outside, okay? Uh, not at the table here, I'm not gonna do it at the table. Uh, so I'm gonna go and prime this really quick. Um, when you're priming things, we'll do a video, a quick video on primer, but um, try to prime far away, multiple coats, instead of close up and one coat. You'll get a much better end product. Uh, yeah, excellent, we'll get to it. All right, so from here, now I've got it kind of primed, and I've touched up a couple little spots that I saw. 
So from here, uh, you could either just take it and you could just dry brush from here. I'm gonna add on a little wash real quick. I've got a minute. Got a minute or two. So I'm gonna add some blue. I want some blue definition underneath the clouds. So I'm just gonna take this blue wash and I'm just going to put some around. It doesn't have to be on all points because you just want a little blue showing through. It makes it look more cloudy, like it's a cloud, I think. You ever had a cloudy day? Well, you will here soon. Ha, ha, ha. <clears throat> For all of you living uh, in, you know, Tornado Alley, uh, uh, birds go out to you and uh, uh, you might not want to build this. You might want to build something else. <laughs> Do a water elemental or something. All right, let me finish this up. All right. So we're gonna start with a dry brush here. Now that it's been base coated, you can see that it's not a full coat. It doesn't matter, that's okay. That's gonna be all right. So you're gonna do a dry brush, and this one you're gonna do pretty heavy handed. Before I was kind of more, uh, you know, deliberate with it, careful with it, this, I, I really want just a kind of a better, kind of a nice dry brush coat. I want a little bit of the bottom to show through, but not a whole ton. I've got some just gray here that I made up a while ago. I don't be too heavy with it, but if it gets, you know, in the cracks and stuff, that's okay. It's gonna look like a tornado in the end anyway. You want your wash underneath to be really good and, and dry um, because uh, otherwise it's gonna pick up the blue and you'll have blue gray and that's not what you want. You want the blue back. Boy, from trash to treasure really quick, this uh, makes a, a beautiful little thing here. Beautiful little miniature. I am so happy with this. Got our gray there done. Very nice. Let's see, while we're waiting for that to uh, to finish, you can see it's not gonna stand up very well on its own. So I went and I got another piece to add to it. This is another piece of garbage. <laughs> it's a top off a of plastic container thing. So what we're gonna end up doing in the end is we're gonna end up sticking it on here. I'm gonna cut it out and stick that on there. So it has a little bit of a, a safer, safer bottom to, to go on to. So right now, I'm just gonna start that real quick. I'm gonna cut around this. This is really nice. You know, and this and this is actually a, a, a really fun way to recycle. Save the planet. I have lots of little tips and tricks for recycling and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Plug back in my hot glue then over here. All right. All right, see so we got that layer of uh, dry brush done. I'm gonna dry it off really quick with the uh, hair dryer here. Pardon me. You want it nice and dry, so that the uh, you want it nice and dry, so that it doesn't uh, show through on the layers there. Okay. Got my gray off of here. Get my brush all ready for some more new paint. So the, uh, the blue I used, this blue uh, blue tone is from Army Painter Washers, uh, Army Painter Washes. This is the Army Painter Matte White. You can use craft paints on this one because the details you're not so worried about. Not so worried about the details in this one, um, you know, as, as you would with a really small miniature. And boy, Andy, that sure doesn't look like much paint. I really don't need a whole lot. This I'm gonna be a little more careful with. So with dry brushing, you're taking your dry brush, so you don't, you don't see almost anything left on that brush, on the, whatever you're, you're painting on. We're gonna highlight it. Look at that. Wow. It's so, it's trying to blow away from me. <laughs> this is gonna blow you away, I'll tell you. <laughs> Buns. All right. Very nice. Look at that. Look how that's coming together. Oh my. Oh my. I might like this one better than my last one. 
Okie dokie. So, oh, just a little bit more here. Now I'll touch up the bottom and things like that. But really, you have a good viable uh, miniature here now. Looks just like a tornado. I mean, you can go and you can do more white. You can add a little more white and stuff. But really, that's really pretty good. If it looks too, um, uh, too um, you know, exploded, if it looks just too bright, you can add another coat of, of a dark, like a black wash, um, which we'll have a video showing you how to make that. Um, but really at this point, all I'm really needing to do, take this, connect the two. Ah, I'm almost out of hot glue. No, give me that last little thing a bit. Come on, just a little more hot glue, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, push that little stick. There we go. Bam. There we go. You can glue that all down all the way on the corners and the sides and the edges and everything. But there you go. A pretty viable little miniature made from trash. And like I said, you can take that and kind of balance out the bottom a little bit more and stuff. I need another stick of hot glue. But that's pretty good, right? Yeah, I like that. I like that. So um, uh, again today, uh, um, we'll be giving away the, um, the uh, this guy, our little little stone giant that we did in our last video. Link, link, link over here. Yeah. Um, uh, and all this stuff, uh, this one will be given away. I'm going to finish him up and it will be given away on a future video. Isn't that cool? Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, remember to, to like, like. And subscribe, comment, share, pass it around, do all that good stuff. And yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. So today, for my final thought, I just wanted to say, you know, that um, everything is treasure. Everything is treasure, especially you. Um, you know, in this day and age, in this world, uh, you know, there's a lot of junk. There's a lot of junk in our lives. But everything can be made something important. This garbage grocery bag some garbage, plastic, and old paint. Made a really cool tornado. It could be a great miniature, it could be a great air elemental. Heck, you could put a genie on top of that. It could be a genie, right? Um, but you know, not the, not the Will, Will, Will Smith genie, the, the, the Robin Williams genie, right? Um, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, sorry Will Smith. Um, uh, pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. So, everything is treasure, including you, and especially you. And if this trash can be made new and beautiful again, well, then you're, you're even more important than that trash, I'll tell you. So, uh, keep being special, all right? Keep crafting.